Hey guys, surprise, surprise, I'm building a new bike, a new Norco 29er this time. And one of the first things to install is the bottom bracket and cranks. So I'm picking parts for it. But before I get to the cranks, I needed a chain ring. And this time I picked a wolf tooth component oval. And in the next couple minutes, uh, we'll take a look at the others that I've used in the past, see how they compare. It does come in a bag and the only information worth mentioning is here on the back where you will find that this is made in the USA, the type is oval, a SRAM, direct mount, 32 tooth, and that's the type of aluminum made in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Follow us online on social. If you like stickers, there is one in the bag over here. And here is the chain ring. Almost all the information found online, it's printed here on the chain ring, company name, that is the crank rotation, I assume to install it properly. You move over here where they talk about drop stop, which refers to the tooth profile, which is a narrow white tooth profile. Power track elliptical is what they call their ovals, short for it is PTE. And finally here, you're gonna find the same info that was on the label, SRAM direct mount 32 tooth, made in USA. On the back of their chain ring, you only have a serial number, and 32 tooth stamped over there. Claim weight on the website is 74 grams. You can see it's 65 on my scale. Also on their website, you're gonna see some more details about their power track elliptical concept. And that is 10% oval T for more natural pedal stroke and 112 degree timing for quicker engagement. In the last few years, I looked at quite a few oval chain rings. You see an absolute black, that's one up. I'm also using a SRAM Eagle oval on my Yeti. And all these are built with 12% oval T and also they engage at 115 degrees. Compared to these, the wolf tooth is supposed to be 10% oval T and 112 degrees engagement. However, when I put this wolf tooth on top of my one up, you'll see that, I don't know, they match tooth for tooth dimensions or identical. Having it on top of the absolute black chain ring, again, very, very similar, but on this one, I think I see a tiny bit that 2% difference in the oval T, but again, any difference that exists between these ovals uh, must be minimal. The tooth profile of the chain rings, absolute black and wolf tooth seem to be machined very similarly, with uh, one up looking quite different and being the tallest teeth of them all. However, they all have some sort of chamfer here to clear up mud and debris, and they are all compatible with 9, 10, 11, and 12 speed drivetrains. Next to an Eagle chain ring that I'm actually replacing on my crank set, you can see the tooth profile of the Eagle that is quite uh, different than any others, and this is supposed to minimize wear and the drivetrain noise. Chain ring installation is very simple in my case. I have an Eagle XX1 crank and I just need the three bolts here, there and there. These are T25 Torx screws. I put a bit of Loctite on them and I'm going to torque them to 5 to 7 Newton meters. I've used the chain ring with a couple of drivetrains with Eagle GX chains. You can see it right now with the Shimano XTR drivetrain. What can I tell you? It's a chain ring. It works just fine. Most importantly, it doesn't seem to make a lot of noise. You can see the chain now on the smallest cog of the cassette and the chain ring doesn't complain much. So that's a good sign that there isn't a lot of friction in it. So a good alternative to the more expensive uh, chain rings out there, definitely the more expensive uh, SRAM chain ring ovals. So for me, it's a keeper. What about you guys? Have you ever used Wolf Tooth Components uh, chain rings? I would love to hear from you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. As usual, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, I will see you folks on the trails. Cheers, guys. Cheers.